afternoon year four and today in today's lesson for computing we are going to be learning how to create a formula on a spreadsheet you will need to watch this video first but you can watch this video pause it have a go yourself and watch this video again I'm going to show you how to do today is to create a spreadsheet that looks like this one on your slide. So you're going to need your slide up um, so you can actually use it to help you copy yours. But I'm going to show you now how I'm going to show you how to create a spreadsheet. So this box here I'm not going to write in the very first box, but here I'm going to write the day. So I click on it and then I type in Monday. Click on the next box and then type in Tuesday. The next box, Wednesday. And I carry on until I've written the days of the week from Monday to Friday. So in the last box, I write total. Okay, so that's the first box. Now over here, I'm going to write the word apple. And I can change, if you notice at the moment, it's yellow. So I can change by go, go over to the right hand side and choosing a colour. So I'm going to colour it green. And I just click on it and you notice it's changed colour. Now I'm going to write banana. I'm going to keep that yellow because bananas are yellow. Then I'm going to write grapes. I'm going to change the colour so you go over on the right hand side and you colour it in. If I just click on it, look, it's gone purple. Now I'm going to write strawberry. Strawberries are red, so I'm going to colour that red. And now I'm going to write orange. And oranges are orange. So I'm going to go over and colour it like so. So the next step is I'm going to write the numbers in the box. So I'm going to write 12, 11. Remember to click on the box to write on it. 9, 4, 8. And the next one is 4, 13, 8, 14, 2. And then the next one, I've got 7, 13, 16, 9, 6. And then strawberries, I had 5 on Monday, 5 on Tuesday. Two on Wednesday, zero on Thursday, and nine on Friday. And then the last one, I'm going to have seven, one, 13, 12, and 13. So that's the first step you need to do. So you need to pause the video now and go and do that on yours. You have to follow, it says, switch your spreadsheet to advanced mode so the advanced mode is just there so i'm going to show you where the advanced mode is and then you can see what changes have happened so here's my slide and i'm now going to show you how to put it on advanced mode so right at the very top you've got a pound sign a speech bubble abc an A to Z there, a graph, and then this key here. And if you hover over it, it says advanced mode. And if you click on it, what you will notice now is that the rows have been given numbers and the columns have been given letters. Pause the video and do that on yours. Instructions, you need to kind of do one after the other so it says you have to click on cell g2 and you can see that on the slide but i will show you on the video in a minute then you click on the formula button then you click the advanced tab 
So I'm now going to show you this on the video. So I'm going to follow the instructions again. So it's asked me to click on G2. So we'll go across, there's G, and then I go one, two. So this is G2. So I click on it there, and the box should be colored gray. Then you go over to the formula button. So the formula button's right at the top here. So I click on it. Oh, I click on it. And then this screen should come up, okay? And you need to click the advance. Okay, so I'm going to show you that again. So you click on G2. You go over to the top and you press on the FX. This screen comes up in the middle of your screen and then you click advance. Pause the video and you do that now. To do the next task and this task will set the function. So you have to select the function and then you have to select the cells from row B to F2. Okay, so sorry, from B2 to F2. So I'm going to show you on the video what you need to do. Screen, the first thing I do is I choose the function. So I want to find out the total amount. So if I click on the small arrow key here, and I've got four words, total, average, minimum, and maximum. I want to find out the total. So you click on total. Then you select the cells that you want to do. So to do that, I've got to hold down my shift key. I click on B2. And I go drag this across to F to F2 like this. So watch again. So I've gone to formula, advance. I click on the total and then I can hold my shift button or you can just click on it. And then what you do is then you drag, oh, I'll try that again. So I hold it, then I click on it and then I drag it across and you'll see the dotted lines drag across. You do that. And then when you're happy, you click OK. And if you notice, on the G2 here, the numbers change to 44. OK? In task 8, you're going to need your keyboard to help you. So you have to press on the cell of G2, then on your keyboard, you hold the control button, which is CTRL and C at the same time. Then you click on the cell G3, you hold the control button and click on V. I will now show you this on the video. To take and click on G2, so there's G and it's two down. So I press the control and then the C button and let go. I click on G3, G3, and then I press my control button and V button. And if you notice, it's actually copied the formula and put it in each each cell. So watch again. So I click on G2, press control. C, let go, and then on you click on the next box down and you press Control V. Okay, and then you just click Control V on each one. And if you notice, all of the cells have now got the total amounts there. That is how you create a spreadsheet and you use a formula to help you find totals. You can watch this video again, step by step, but now I would like you to have a go at Purple Match.